What's up YouTube? My name's Aja. Welcome to my channel. And today I want to bring you another astrology 101 video. And this one is all about the luminaries. The luminaries are the sun, the moon, and I would include the stars because the sun is a star. It's the biggest star. And they're called the luminaries because they illuminate the earth. Illuminate luminaries. They are the planet's main sources of light. Even the other planets that have different moons, the moon still illuminates the planets through the light of the sun. In astrology, the moon and the sun are considered personal planets but we all know they're not planets, right? But they're in that category of personal planets. They truly influence our personality, personal planets, personality, and they rule our interactions as well. Since they're not planets, they don't retrograde, so you don't gotta worry about the sun being in retrograde <laughs> and that big ball of energy affecting you backwards. But instead, they follow a consistent pattern and consistent cycles. Actually, the moon and the sun symbolize the rhythm of life and life cycles and the rotation of the universe. And by the rhythm of life, I mean like, day and night or light and darkness. The week is a cycle, the year is a cycle, and they go through these every single year for eternity. I mean, the sun and moon symbolize cycles. Now in this video, let's break down the luminaries and how they affect you with their energies in their universe. Cause you know, we are just little transplants, little tiny pieces in this big old universe. And you can really think of it this way. If the moon's energies are so strong that they control the tides, cause you know, the tides are controlled by the energy of the moon. The tide pulls ocean water back and forth. So of course our little bodies made of water are affected by the moon and by its energies. Same goes with the sun. The sun is a source of light for plants. The sun affects our moods, like when it's really dark in the winter, people get spring fever, people start feeling really depressed, those kinds of things. If the sun can affect those energies physically and give life, then it definitely affected you, your little baby self, when you were pushed out of the womb squeeze out of your tight little hole, the moon and the sun's energies affected you. Both the luminaries, the sun and the moon, plus the cosmos, like the planets, the stars, influenced us down to the very hour that we were born. And the cosmos were guiding our creation at the time our souls decided to be born into this realm. Your natal birth chart, your astro natal birth chart is based on exactly where everything was positioned in the universe at your time of birth. So like I said in my Zodiac 101 video, it's totally special and unique to you and your twin and your triplet and your quadruplet. You know, you guys are all born within the same few minutes. <laughs> so you guys got the same birth chart. It's unique, but y'all got the same birth chart. <laughs> So let's get into this video and start exploring your two luminary signs, your sun sign and your moon sign. So I want to start off with the moon. The moon just totally resonates with me because I'm a feminine sign, a Taurus, and the moon is also feminine. In fact, the moon is so feminine, she has a monthly cycle, like some ladies. The 28 to 29.5 day moon cycle is how long it takes to rotate around the earth. And the phases of this cycle are shown by how the moon illuminates off of the sun. The phase that the moon was in at the very time that you were born on that day totally affects you because the energies that were manifesting around you are a lot of the energies of the moon. Like 
The new moon energies are very spiritual and soft while the full moon energy is really creative and excited and active. So another cycle the moon takes is a tour of the zodiac and that is what this video is about. So it takes the tour of the zodiac every 28 days and the remaining 2.5 days it uses as a transition period. The constellation that the moon was in during your birth is your moon sign. In astrology, your moon sign rules your emotions, your feelings, and your moods. So by emotions, I mean like happy and sad, and by your feelings, I mean like your senses. But everyone always says those things about your moon sign. Let's dig a little bit deeper. Did you know that your moon sign reveals your vulnerabilities? It shows how you operate emotionally, your emotional habits, and how you receive emotional security. Your moon sign controls how you feel nurture, or how you nurture others, or how you make others feel, or how others make you feel, how you receive other people's energies. This is the feminine moon sign inside of you. It also controls how you feel about the world. So where your moon in Aries could mean that you're very optimistic and you're looking forward to everything and you've got very energetic, high emotional energy, as opposed to a Virgo moon, which would possibly be very pessimistic and have a very grounded energy. Virgos are like a half empty type person, Aries are like a half full type person. So those signs in your moon sign affect those type of feelings and emotions that you evoke. The moon sign symbolizes your emotions and how you deal with relationships and friendships. Your moon sign influences how you operate in those relationships, how you operate in those friendships. Are you a clingy type of friend because you're a possessive Pisces? Or are you a I don't give a fuck type of friend. Cause you're a Gemini and you're an Aquarius and you're a free spirit and you don't care where your friends go, what they're doing, don't care. Could be a Taurus moon and be possessive like the Pisces. You could be very possessive, too loyal. You know what I mean? Your moon sign also shows your needs in these relationships, your needs in these friendships, what you need to feel complete in the relationship. It really shows and tells simply how you get along with people and your qualities that attract others. And on a spiritual level, your moon sign is where you operate from. It rules our spirituality, our intuition, and our inner selves, deeper down into yourself. This is really breaking your zodiac down into what it consists of. And because the moon's energy is so spiritual, even the moon's energy that you were born with is so spiritual, it's really what makes the moon cycles the perfect time to do spell work, to do rituals, to pray, to using the moon and the phases of the moon are great to be on the same vibes as the moon, on the same vibes as that spiritual center in the universe. Your moon sign operates the feminine side of your personality while the sun operates the masculine side of your personality. My moon sign is in Cancer, so that magnetic, feminine energy of a cancer plus the feminine energy of the moon is controlling my spirituality and is controlling my emotional needs it is controlling how i act regarding to my moods etc etc and this makes me very sensitive if i wasn't a taurus and so grounded i would be really emotionally unstable because i wouldn't be able to control those emotions tauruses are very control very in control Cancers are not. They let their emotions run wild. They let their emotions soar as loud as they can sing them to the rooftops. A cancer will tell you how they're feeling. Lucky me. <laughs> Lucky me, my sun sign overpowers any other influences that the cosmos had at the time of my birth. My moods also embody the characteristics of a cancer, like sometimes I'm crabby or I'm very romantic and loving and being a cancer moon makes me very empathetic and very sympathetic those characteristics affect me as a whole my it affects my zodiac as a whole it's not just Taurus characteristics are all I got in me everything breaks down though the moon and planets control aspects of the universal you your sun sign controls all of you that is why your soul chose to be born on that specific day, that specific time. My soul wanted to be a Taurus. My blueprint was a Taurus. Now if my moon was in Capricorn, 
money and intelligence would control my emotions. The characteristics of a Capricorn. So like money would make me fall in love more than love makes me fall in love. Or girl, money would excite me and make me happy or not having money would make me super depressed. If I can't have a good conversation with someone, that would be sad for me. It's really about your emotional needs. And so the Capricorn emotional needs relate to the Capricorn characteristics. My Cancer emotional needs relate to Cancer characteristics. And I've got a whole video on what your moon sign reveals about you. Go watch it. <laughs> now the other luminary we're gonna discuss is the sun, your sun sign. This is the sign you already know. 5595, five, five, I'm a Taurus. The sun is the biggest star in the sky vessel and it makes a tour around the zodiac once a year. So every month it'll explore a new sign. But it's not from the 1st to the 30th, it's more like from the 21st to the 21st. The 20th to the 20th, you know, like that. And that is yet another cycle. The sun is your core and the constellation that it was in during your birth determines you. It shows you, you. It's your personality, how you act, your day to day. It affects all aspects of your life, physically and internally and spiritually and soulfully. All the energies in your life are affected by the sun and they were chosen for you the day you were born. That's why your soul chose this day to be born, chose your sign for you. It selected those characteristics for you, every single one and by hand for your earth being. And baby, that's what sign you are. My soul obviously <laughs> wanted to be a charismatic Taurus. Your sun sign affects your umbrella personality traits and qualities. That means sort of like the overarching, everyone has their unique qualities, but that overarching summary of you the really simplified version, the energies that are all connected between all of us are what your sun sign reveals. Like it shows how you go about life, how you let life affect you, and it shows your wants as opposed to the moon sign that shows your needs. It's how you behave, how you express yourself, the vibes that you chill on, what vibe you give off, and the energy that you radiate, radiate like the sun, the energy that you shine off, that you give off. That's your sun sign. My son was in Taurus when I was born, so that makes me a loyal, grounded, down-to-earth tree hugger. <laughs> but I also embody that stubbornness and that hard-headedness that I have to control. And no matter which sign I'm talking about, if I'm talking about my Jupiter sign, those underlying Taurus traits are always gonna be present. They will be ever-present in everything because that's my sunshine. That's my sun sign. Now your sun sign is made up of different qualities, polarities, but it chooses an element. Mine is earth. I'm an earth fixed feminine sign and that's a Taurus. And Aries is a cardinal fire masculine sign. And I have a whole separate video already recorded explaining all of that. This astrology series is gonna give you all the tea. But your sun sign determines your general ways. It shows how you interact, how you make decisions, your career, your interests, how you go about relationships, what romantic partners you attract, who you attract, what other vibes you bring to you, what type of energies manifest in your life is all based on your sun sign. It even shows how you like to balance yourself. Me as a Taurus, to balance myself out, I would like to go grounding in nature by myself, as opposed to a Gemini who wants to get a group of friends together and go travel and go fly and go take a trip somewhere and that'll balance them out. The Aries will wanna blast music and party with a bunch of people. Whereas a Capricorn might wanna sit and count money and that'll balance them out. <laughs> also, the sun controls the type of things you like to do. For example, Taurus like to sleep <laughs> because we are so slow moving and so rooted into our ways and so rooted into the earth and snoozing and enjoying any type of quality down relaxing me time are what Tauruses like to do. As opposed to an Aquarius who likes to be on the move 24 seven. They are very energetic. They are always trying to do something. I got another video about that. What your sun sign says about you. Check that one out later. I get much more in details about every little 
zodiac sign and every little characteristics you are going to get all the info that you could possibly need but this was just my little video on the luminaries i'm so glad you made it to the end i'm so glad you made it to the end of my little astrology 101 lesson on the sun the moon and the stars and how your sun and moon sign affect you and your life what do they reveal about you? And I really want you to get a deeper connection on yourself. Find out your moon sign if you don't know it already. Get your birth certificate because you're going to need to know the exact time for your moon sign. And let me know in the comments below what's your sun sign, what's your moon sign, and what are some characteristics that are about you. I want to get to know you. I just told you all my tea about being a Taurus sun and a Cancer moon. Let's get the chatting on your sun sign, the moon sign, the sun and the moon's energies and how they affect you, how they affect your life. And thanks so much for getting to the end of this video. Make sure you like, comment and subscribe and check out my other ones. See you in the next one, bye.